even though we're into April now and we're planting a few seeds outside, it's going to be a while before the garden looks like this again. The first seeds that I planted out in the main garden were sugar snap peas. They can survive a light frost, but on any nights where I think there might be any danger of a hard freeze, I cover them up with a little straw. The first fresh homegrown food we got to eat this year was asparagus, and it sure was good. What you see here are the tomato cages that I use to grow indeterminate tomatoes in, and since I'm not growing indeterminate tomatoes this year, I'm going to use these to grow vertically with several vegetables. I'll fill you in on what I plan to grow in these cages as we get closer to planting time. On one side of the cages I planted a double row of carrots and there are four different kinds of carrots growing there and they're all purple. They're purple haze, which is a hybrid, purple dragon, cosmic purple, and black nebula. I've grown purple dragon carrots before. Here's some growing and here's a look at some freshly harvested. The purple coloration is really only skin deep and they taste pretty much like most other carrots. I've also grown cosmic purple carrots and they're the ones on the right in this picture. They have a purple color on the outside and pretty much a normal coloration on the inside. The carrots to the left are called Nif and they're another purple variety. Between the two rows of cages I planted a double row of St. Valerie carrots. I started conditioning our straw bales and if you want to know more about conditioning straw bales and how to get them ready to plant I'll put a link down in the description box and at the end of this video. In the late fall I threw an onion that had started to sprout already out into the compost pile and I found it this spring and I was never so glad to see a rotting onion in my life. I was kind of uh, disappointed that I wouldn't be able to grow onions, but I found this and transplanted them out into the garden. In three of our grow bags, I planted some early spring stuff, and in the first bag, there's spinach. In the second bag, we have some Little Jim lettuce. And in the third grow bag, we have champion radishes. And those will be coming up soon after our next cold snap. The Musa Bass Jew Bananas are off to a very quick start and the one on the right there has about six or eight inches of new growth coming out of the top and most of the stems have a little bit of growth already. I keep straw piled nearby and on the very cold nights I cover them up. Even though I can tell it's alive, the Musa Velutina isn't as anxious to get going as the Musa Bass Jew, and I think it's waiting for warmer soil temperatures to grow. Near the bananas, the fennel is anxious to get growing, and the sage is just now starting to show signs of life. And next to the sage is the horseradish, and it's starting off pretty well. And near the horseradish is the French sorrel, and the rhubarb is starting to get going pretty good. And over next to the rhubarb is the oregano and it's got quite a bit of green showing already. The two little goji berries I started last year are off to a quick start. This is an experiment I did over the winter. Usually I dig up all my yacon and I save the rhizomes to plant the next spring. But this year I just piled a whole bunch of straw over a couple of them and they actually lived in the ground over the winter. These are my two turmeric plants. One of them grew through the winter and the other one just sat there and didn't do much at all. It's going to be about a month before I can get these outside for good. I've been hardening off my sweet potato slips on nice days and I can already see signs that they're starting to perk up a little after I put them in the soil. They're also about a month away from being outside for good. My seedling tomato plants, pepper plants, and other things that I have in the trays are still looking pretty good and I'm looking forward to the day I can put these outside for good. Here's one more tray that I have planted and in it I have some jicama, 
And one important thing to know about jicama is the seeds are poisonous and the foliage is poisonous. You can only eat the round tuber uh, like the ones they sell in the grocery store. In this tray I also have a little bit of basil and one tiny ubi sprouting. Thanks Bob. For those of you who haven't subscribed very long, I had flowers in this last year and I think I'll grow flowers in it again. Here's a glimpse of what it looked like with flowers in it last year. Even though it doesn't seem like it, in about two or three weeks the Orioles will start showing up. And we like to feed them grape jelly and last year I built a bunch of decorative Oriole feeders. I did a video on how I did that, so if you're interested in that, I'll put a link to that video right about now. And if you're just now finding this channel and you haven't subscribed yet, please subscribe. We'll see you next time.